Hello you awesome people and hope you had a good Christmas. Welcome to Crunch Time Games and here of our first birthday on Thursday. So as you can see on the side we're actually building Ringlet or developing Ringlet as you call on the trade. The game everybody praises and nobody understands and my opponent is doing cow tutsu which sounds a bit risky to be honest I wouldn't want to be tussing a cow. Uh, don't stop tussing the cow. Now for mobile platforms. That sounds lady doggy. Have a farmer's been too long in the field with a cow? Oh, that seems a bit weird. And it's by Stone Star Games. And you can edit my title. So let's go with Games Define Zoe. And right on the side, you can see Design, Programming, Art, Sound, and Testing. And it's a bit of a card game. And you can see all these varying numbers. So that means we have to do Design two times. And let's say with one I've got so far. So let's see Art. I've got an orange card that relates to the orange sticky note so I need three of these guys on the field developing their stuff and it takes two turns for this guy to develop uh, the artist's task so once two turns are over and uh, the opponent has blocked me the two turns are up and I get one added up to the art total out of three so that's pretty much the actual understanding of the game you can place down only one department unless you've got one of these cards that are around, uh, they're from uh, the actual names are from different people so this is Stan Lee uh, which is a bit of a parody of the Marvel guy uh, Ramona Common Sense, I've got no idea Johnny Fitz, I'm sort of heard that name go around, around. and KO KO him, this is F in him uh, so there's different quotes on each card, it's kind of nice layout so that's a bit about the game, so let's go and start playing right so the first one we've got is the publicist phone call and this uh, it makes the opponent receive one testing task so let's see what it does so if I click onto this it slams onto it and as you can see on the pink kind of sticky note here it was at number two if you rewind this video a little bit now it's at number three so there's three testing tasks the opponent has to do you have to try and get all of these in order to win but you can get more of a high score by completing more of the design tasks say if I had all these filled out uh, but programming, but I only didn't have any programming cards. I only had a design card left. I can still get number three on that, and that's three out of three, and then get more points. Right, so let's go with any of these. Are actually, quite good. There's no problem with any of these at all. They're all designed by two turns, so I can place anyone down in the field at all. I'm going to place KOKO KO just because. Alright, next turn, and let's see what the component does. So this is the AI, there's a fully featured AI, you can also play it locally. Uh, Kevin Detail, I complete an art task in four turns. So that's quite a long time compared to my KO KO, he only does it in two turns. If you've got uh, people of the same department, you can place them all down on the same turn, unless you've got a card that says you can uh, place uh, people from separate departments down in the same turn as well. So you can only place people of the same colour down. Uh, so you can kill any tasks you queues, that's quite nice. Especially when you've got a four uh, turned uh, programmer or artist or whatever. I'm going to place that artist down and that's all I can do aside from that. All your active tasks end is quite a nice card. Although I'm going to save it when I've got quite a few more on the field. That means that all these uh, people, the tasks are done and then added to the total. So if I've got a green card, that's one green point. Uh, complete a task in two turns. She's quite good. She can, can kill any tasks he chooses. Oi. Uh, and he's going to choose art. So there we go. It's minus one off the five, but even four. So he only has to do four art turns. I can block all art turns. So uh, the computer gets blocked to my art developer team. So that's not going to go anywhere this time. I've completed one of my sound jobs. So that's one out of two. Right, I'm a bit stuck for now, but I can do that. And do that, definitely. Get rid of my sound. So there's no more sound dev needs to be done. So there's our sound dev done. And we can do all the active tasks end. And that was an idiot mistake. That was actually a good mistake, actually, to so. Because if that's frozen by the art book, which uh, freezes all artwork tasks, then because that said active on the card, which I didn't read, then he didn't actually 
work anymore. I didn't actually do the art job, if you get what I'm saying. Right, so there's more uh, phasers onto them and remove one tax from your opponent. So he's going to block my sound a bit. Yep, he is. So now no more sound. I've got to develop that again. Uh, complete a programming task in four turns. Uh, press previews, boots, team morale. All your active turns advance. So there we go. Everyone advances one of their computer. As you can see, it's actually quite clever. You'll see. Your turn. So let's see what we got. We can block our opponent's art turns. That could be useful, but they could be more useful later on when he's got more than one artist on the field. Complete a programming turn in four turns. That's two turns. So this is quite nice. Uh, we can't actually place her down because Ron the Scum already works for my opponent's development team. So what I'm going to do is actually play my tester. Then once Ronda's done, I'm going to place all my programmers down at once probably. Uh, block our art. Tats. Uh, I could do that, but I'm not quite sure. I might leave it for a bit because there's only one. If the opponent's got more than one artist on the field, then I'll play that card. And it'll put it to my advantage a bit more then. Right, let's see what they play. The opponent receives one testing tat, so computer really hates me this time. Uh, Bill Wright, he's a programmer. Block our opponent test testing tats. I'm never going to get my testing done. So it gets blocked my pink card there. But I've got one of my artists done. So one of them gets added to my arts touch score. All your active tasks advance one turn. That's a fool's mistake because there's no developer currently active. So he's been frozen out of the game. There's no artists on the opponent's side of the field. So that can't be placed down. I'm going to place down Sierra Will. And I could use that but I'm going to wait. Because then I've got more active tasks on the field. So as you can see, it's a game about withholding your cards as well. Sometimes it's better to withhold cards at some point. Uh, hunting for resources. Uh, this is actually tricky now. He's going to uh, snack Ramona, I guess. Because he can't take Sarah. Actually, I think he can, because there's no Sarah on the field. Complete a programming task. The computer's actually got quite a lot of programming. Uh, stop our opponent task for two turns, which is a really tricky one. It means that I can't develop for two turns. The computer is really screwing with me today. So, my turn. I think I'm going to lose this, actually. Uh, oh, because Johnny Fist was in my deck, it blocked the server down from happening. So, it put the server back up in uh, deck speak. Ah, this is actually quite handy. So, now, uh, again, I can't place that down, that developer, because both developers are on the opponent's field at the moment. So Ronda Scum has only got one more turn activated. Sarah Will has only got one more task to do. So my best idea I'm going to have is wait a bit, place both of them down and then use the Duticle to advance my turns onto one turn. So I'm not going to do too much at the moment. I'm really badly losing this. So there's the programming done for the computer actually advancing quite nicely the computers and now I've placed down an artist so my art bug can actually take effect oh and he had another no connection card so that freezes both my programmer cards out for one turn I think or two turns two turns actually because you can see by the little uh, things there right that is useless for now because I haven't got a public phone call uh, tacked on me uh, right I could use that to stop, I may as well to try and storm a little longer because that's the only storm I'm going to do. I can place down both my programmers ready for another time. Now I'll use that duty call once that no connections off the field. I don't think Ringlet is actually going to be developed at this rate. Right, it's week 7. You can see by the turns on the weeks as they like to call them here. Uh, Leo Tro, complete an art turn in a ta art task in four turns, there we go. Learn to speak proper English. Artbug is gone. They've actually frozen two artists out of the game now. So that was quite a good time in there. Right, complete a testing task in four turns. If we can actually say that. 
Uh, your opponent receives two programming tasks, which is quite handy. Complete a design task in two turns. So I think I'm going to play my publisher's phone call. Storm a bit longer. Now they've got a lot more programming to go. Uh, there's only one. There's one programmer already up there, so they've got to do is one more task, which is in most of the store, I suppose. He's been frozen out, and I've got all my maximum developers on the fieldy complex down any more cards than this. So I can't do anything to the turn automatically advances. Here's the AI turn. Let's see what they're gonna do. So they draw the card. Milestones have a strange effect on people's plans. Choose any played opponent's character and discard him. He's gonna discard Sierra Will. I'm guessing because they've already got one uh, turn there, so yep. Yeah. Uh, I can guess what the computer's gonna do. I don't need that many programmers anyway on the field, so that was quite an advantage because I can get to work on something else. Cancel a publisher's phone call. We've got tons of those. If they ever use them or any of them, I'm completely blocking. Uh, managers advance the next round of bonuses. Euphoria runs wild. All your active tasks end. That is actually quite useful. Because now we can just place her down and place that card down. And now all the developers finish. And bang, 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 we're in the money. There we go. So now all I've got to focus on is art, sound, and testing. Unless the CPU buggers me up. Right. And the turn automatically advances because I can't do anything again. So the program is gone, the artists are gone, and it only leaves two artist tasks, uh, one design tasks, one programming tasks, two sound tasks, and two testing tasks for the CPU to do. So to just place down a programmer because he's got one more programming task to do. He needs to cast up a little bit now. That was actually quite a good round for me a minute ago. Uh, stop our opponent's tasks for one turn, marketing attacks. So there we go, we just block those two cards. Probably was a bit better if we could have waited a bit longer for that, but oh well, until they had more developers on. Probably would have been a better insight now. Right, so sound bug, my sound developer freezes out the game. And that marketing attack has only got one turn on it, so the developers are free to move now on their side of the field. Right, I do need art. Uh, I don't think they you know they haven't got any testing tasks on their side of the field. So let's get the artist now. And I'm going to leave that because my uh, sound engineer is frozen out, so I have no effect on him. And see the two turn anyway, so I may as well leave it out anyway. Then it will give the bonus to both of them. I'll probably wait until I've got a couple more people anyway. Right, so computer's turn, and he advances one. Uh, you can play developers from different departments at the same time. There's the card I was telling you about. Because before I can only play cards from the same colour. Now the CPU can play cards from whatever he chooses now. Which is quite one of the best cards to have early on in the game. So I've got a programmer. I don't need programming at the moment. Uh, and he's already been assigned to the opponent's project. So that's just bumped to me. And that's the one a better score. Uh, I'm going to block him for now. Oh, actually, that was a useless move. That was an absolute Dumbo move because now they haven't got any testers on the field. So that card hasn't got any effect whatsoever. Uh, right, I could do that. I may as well get a bit of an advantage for myself. My artist is finished. All I've got to do now is one art task, one sound task, and two testing tasks. So I've got to look for pink cards, orange cards, and green cards. They're finished there around. They've got programming done. I've got design and programming done. I just need art, sound and testing to go. Right, you might earn. Hopefully I'll get some better luck now. Right, all your active tasks advance one turn. That would finish the sound dev. And I'm probably going to wait a bit for that. Your opponent receives two art tasks. Now that is useful to have because now I can buff up his art tasks. He's got more work to do. He's got a lot of art now, he's got to find three more artists to do his bidding. Uh, this season I'm going to play it. As I say, that probably would be my downfall in the end, because I need one, two, three, four, and there is only a limited amount of spaces on the field. Although I'm going to get rid of O'Donnell now by playing that. So you can get a higher score by placing more developers down, 
although you've got to wash out you don't block yourself because these take time to go off the field and finish their tasks so that if, because you've got limited number of spaces for artists he's just actually uh, got rid of his sound guide so that's one to his sound uh, but because you've only got limited spaces for artists on the field then you can block yourself out and the computer can outmaneuver you and get all the tasks done that they want because you're racking up a massive score uh, get off Cranmill and Leo Tro. I need an art guide, so I'm going to place him down. Uh, pick any played opponent's character and discard him. I'm going to wait a bit for that. I'm going to use it on one that's got a little uh, number of these things here. So there is a little number of turns that need to complete the task. Because if I wasted it on a massive uh, person like that, I'm not going to waste it on him really. Because he's not going to have an effect until late on into the game like my guy right all your active tasks end that could be useful for this guy I'm gonna place down another programmer get my score up a bit higher I'm gonna oh actually I could have, uh, I shouldn't have used that I just did all that spiel and then used that it was an idiot mistake uh, all your active tasks end I'm gonna wait a bit for that because these guys have got a long way to go so we can wait a while and pile more developers on the field I need two testing guys so I'm looking for pink cards now uh, right, I've got a negotiator, I really need to play him in uh, the little delay they've got. If you don't uh, click the card in that delay, then the card has no effect. Uh, they've got a designer, I've done all my designing tasks. I've got a lot of programming in this game, this game's going to be sweet and polished. No bugs I hope, there's always bugs. Uh, stop uh, tasks for two turns of the opponent, block all opponent's sound tasks, this is very useful, but I could use a green card right now. That is one of the most useful cards in the game because it stops me from being delayed by the computer. Right. All your active tasks and that could be useful but not useful now. Uh, sound bug. Uh, there's not much use to play anything at the moment so I'm going to just click the next turn. I'm going to overlay the all your task ends until that guy is at free to the next turn. I could actually place down two testing. I'm just looking for two testing. If it's going to be two testing now, I'm going to scream in delight. Uh, scrum methodology. We've done that in business before. Uh, stop all opponents' tasks for one turn. So that's quite useful. Is that all they're going to give me? All right, I'm actually going to play some of these cards because I think there's a limit to your draw if you haven't got enough cards. I'm going to. I could play that, but I've only played the scrum. Uh, all your active tasks ends. That could be useful for the end game. I'm gonna block. I'm gonna just use that up for now. I know that was useless, but it's just uses up, and I can probably get two pink cards. I am lately looking to just discard my deck to try and get as many of those cards as possible. I hope those cards come around a lot for me as well. So I've just frozen out what they were gonna do. So they've just been completely balled up by scrum methodology. So real trolls gone down the field. I've got all my art completed. I didn't need a programmer, but I've got another bloody programmer. So there we go. Uh, stop all your opponent's tasks for two turns. I'm going to play that. And then next turn. So they can't do anything for two turns anyway, unless they can block my anger and grats. It's not like I'm going to need... Oh, I see they can block my anger and grats. So yeah, I better need to hurry up now. Hopefully they don't have any more tasks for me to do as well. Although I've got a lot of programming tats, so uh, hopefully if it is, it's a programming tats they're going to add on. Uh, V3 is looming, you can play developers from all parts of the department, and that would be useless to me now. As I say, it's highly useful when you've got it in the first kind of stages of the game, and now, now it's completely useless. Oh, Carl, I think there's no deck to this for each player, I think the deck is generated. Uh, from each of you, so you've only got one deck between you. That's why they always end up with bloody testers. Uh, I'm guessing. I'm not quite sure of that bit. Uh, Gade. Um, uh, all your active tasks end. This is just extra tasks now. I don't need any of these guys. I'm waiting for my two testers. And you can just place down that card in the one, hopefully. Oh, Mario. I need Mario. Where's Mamma Mia when I need it? Uh, right, publisher's phone call. I receive two art tasks, which is, oh, can actually use a negotiator. And there we go. I like how the cards actually start 
on game development it is actually fitting my kind of interest all your active tasks then that was completely useless because two have frozen out I suppose it adds up to the testing so now he's got the testing done he needs six more art tasks and one more sound task and since he's got two arts on the field I really need to hurry up and remove engine crash card that is useful but not useful now none of that is quite useful uh, sound engineer good place down one of those I need two slots for my testing team so I better not use up them two slots all you need now is one more artist on the field and one more sound developer on the field which is quite scary because he's coming quite close to that ah and there's the engine crash but I can withhold that with the yeah, the mine you can place down in a minute there we go see that is actually automatic as well so you don't have to remember that there is an engine crash in the field and you need to block it out although I think you would remember that there's the program gone right here we go we've got one of our testers come on send me the money ah uh, okay we're nearly there all right we've got one down and they can just place that and everything's done I guess I need to find another pink card now and then I'm out of here it's like bloody bingo with it right there we go we've got an artist guy gone on the computer side of the field they've only got to do two more art tasks and then that's all over they've got a yellow card and a testing bug which has bollocked up my entire game there we go two design and a design bug as well we haven't got the designers on the field but if I had that would have been slightly bad but it wouldn't have made much difference the testing is the only thing I'm bothered about right now. Uh, I can't do much, I'm just going to place the designer down. Which actually throws me out, that was a stupid move, but it doesn't really matter. I'm only looking for testers right now. Alright, as soon as the pink card is there, I've won the game, unless it throws me out. So I'm not too bothered about what they're going to do too much, aside from place down another testing bug. Right, Lady Tech. Now they're going down for the artist, all they need to do is place a sound guy and I'm sweating in my boots. Right. So, Will have felt is nearly done. Oh, hardly. There we go. And you can see that I've won the game. Just want to place my tester down. Uh, I'm going to place down uh, that one as well, which is you can place them down different developers. To get a higher score, I'm going to place down Sir on the turn baits to get more programming stuff done. So this game is going to be absolutely blitzed on the programming so, so I've got two testing to do I've got two testers to so place them down that is sweet and there we go this has been cr uh, crunch time so this is a card game crunch time and enjoy that's the basic premise of the game I hope you've enjoyed that I certainly have so if you have to speak into uh, if you've got any ideas on what you want to see next or for our birthday in a couple of days time please put it down in the comments below we've been at this for one year now 340 it's subs can't quite remember the last digit on that but it's been awesome i've not been doing it for the absolute subscribers i'm good to been doing it because i really enjoy it and i hope you guys have too it's been an absolutely fantastic ride and you've been all great and uh steak and ant have been absolutely fantastic and you'll hear more from them soon from modeling to absolutely everything else in the universe although that's probably going a bit too far enjoy and have a fantastic day